How do you lose weight? You eat less and exercise more. Losing weight is easy, but we make it hard by talking about supplements, diets, complicated workouts. And before you click away from this video, becoming rich is the same way. It's simple, but we make it complicated. I read Ramit Sethi's book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, so you don't have to. And here's how you can become rich in just four steps. Step number one, credit cards. What comes to your mind when you think about credit cards? Are they free money? Are they evil? Credit cards are not the spawn of Satan. They're actually a gift from God. Okay, let's not go that far, but here's why they're important. They help build your credit score. A good credit score helps you buy or rent a house, helps you buy a car, helps you buy groceries. Okay, just kidding on that last part, but can you imagine? So keep two to three credit cards that have low fees and the best rewards and choose the rewards that work best for you, whether it's travel or cashback. Call your credit card company. Ask them to negotiate fees or payback periods or even lower interest rates. If you have a card for a long time, they'll be more likely to cooperate. Step number two, mastering bank accounts. Do you remember your first bank account? If the bank was recommended by your mom's, neighbor's, colleague's, cousin, you don't have to stick with it. Instead, go with online banks. They usually have the best interest rates, they're low fees, and they can offer better deals because they don't need physical locations. And a lot of them are available 24 seven. So if you're having trouble sleeping at night, just call your bank. Look to pick bank accounts that have no minimum balance requirements, no recurring fees, and offer higher than average interest rates. Step number three, think and spend. Before you become rich, you need to figure out where your money is going right now. Once you figure it out, the best part is you don't have to feel guilty about your spending. If you want to ski 30 days a year, ski. If you want to go underwater diving every month, plunge. Just make sure your budget allows for it. Satie's helpful 50-30-20 rule can help. 50% of your budget on commitments like rent, bills, and that gym membership. 20% on savings. 30% on guilt-free spending. Hmm, avocado toast, here I come. Step number four, invest and automate. Whatever you have, five, 10, or even 20 bucks, just start now. Over time, that's gonna become hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Automate your bills and investing. Time it with when you get paid every month, so you don't have to worry about transferring money to your savings and you can avoid late fees on bills. Follow these four steps and you're gonna see that money stack up in no time.